and a homecoming in Plano today. For the first time, Ed Drain talks about becoming the city's first black police chief. He spoke to CBS 11's J.D. Miles live at the police department. J.D. Russ Ed Drain made the long drive from Amarillo to meet with reporters and look for a new house. He's coming home to a department where he spent the first 22 years of his career. City leaders obviously wanted you here. What does that mean to you? Well, it's humbling, quite frankly. Ed Drain's return to Plano comes after spending three years as police chief in Amarillo. He was recruited by city leaders here for a job he didn't imagine was possible decades ago when he entered Plano's police academy. Did you ever think when you started you'd become Plano police chief? No, 25 years ago when I started, I was just lucky to, uh, just hoping I could get through the police academy and field training and have a job, quite frankly. That humility and Drain's experience are qualities that made this 59-year-old decorated war veteran such an appealing choice to lead the police department in North Texas' fourth largest city. To him, being the first black chief in Plano's 140-year history is not that significant. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal because I think what this community is going to care about is, you know, are we addressing crime problems? Are we addressing, addressing traffic safety issues? If it sounds like the incoming chief is ready to go to work, he is. But Drain says he plans to let his 400 officers do most of the talking. How would you describe your leadership style? Yeah, uh, I, I would call it uh, situational. There, there are no changes that I want to come in and make right away. What I want to do is come in and listen and talk to employees. Now, Drain will succeed Greg Russian, who is retiring or at least uh, moving on after 18 years as police chief. He's going to become Plano's deputy city manager. Live in Plano, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.